Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab where we will do the continuous delivery of CRUD application on a fleet of EC2 instances backed by AST and managed by ALB. So if you remember, in the previous section, we already had created a deployment group exactly for that. So let us open that and application deployment group this was the one now we had edited this to do blue green deployment we can do blue green deployment as well so continuous pipeline will do exactly what you have configured in the deployment group so that's not a continuous pipelines property this is your deployment groups property all right so let us make it in place and it still has two EC2 instances and these are up and running. Great. And code deploy default all at once is good. In triggers, let us remove this and let us create the trigger when the deployment succeeds. Okay. That's it. Dep succeed. Success. Okay, and the SNS topic is going to be my first topic. Good, that's it. And I think we're good. Save changes. And now let us create a new pipeline. Pipelines. Create a pipeline. Let us give it the name CP CRUD ASG ALB. An existing service role is what we are going to use. Okay. In advanced settings, exactly the same. And source provider is once again going to be code commit. Repository name is CRUD application. Branch is master. And CloudWatch events is how we are going to trigger code build. And this is going to be code pipeline default. Next. Build provider is going to be code build. We are still going to use the same project and single build. Next, the deployment provider, the deploy provider rather. Code deploy in Asia Pacific, Mumbai region. Application name is the existing one for us. And yes. And deployment group is this one. CRUD app CDASG DG. So whatever configurations you have done in this deployment group is how your application will be deployed. Next. And that's it. Click on create pipeline. And now it should trigger the pipeline and source and build are same. This time the difference is in deployment and in deployment it will do the deployment on these two EC2 instances. And since they are in a deployment group, which is leveraging ASG and ALB. So first, the traffic will be stopped on these two EC2 instances. Then we will have the deployment taking place. And finally, the traffic will be resumed on these two EC2 instances. So the same things will happen. There won't be any difference. If we want to check that, let us go to EC2 and let us open the target group and load balancer. Okay. So this is the target group. And the targets are here. They are in healthy state. So when it will reach to deployment state, now it has reached. The, this is going to be one of the very first actions. Yeah. Target data registration. And if you want to see what is happening, click on details. And you can see what is happening on deployment front. Exactly. Block traffic is in progress. And this is our ALB. I believe this is the one 
configured in Postman. Let us check this A L B C D. In case of A L B, A L B C D. Yes, this is the one because we are still leveraging the same resources that we have we had created in the previous section. Okay, and it will take some time. I will pause the video till the time takes and let us click on view events so that we know that once it is done on one it is done on the second as well because it is all at once if I am not wrong the deployment configuration is all at once all at once yes great I'll pause the video now okay so now deployment is successful as we can see and we have the success message as well hello the status of the following aws code deploy deployment is succeeded and this is the link great so the trigger also worked and now let us go to the load balancer and see if we can bring up the latest version yep now let us make once again a color change or any change that you want in your application this time to keep things simple once again i'm going to change the color of index page and let us see if the pipeline factors it in all right all right here and okay good let us change the color for about as well we shouldn't yep all right good and the git status will show us that these two are in unstaged git add staged now git commit message changed color of index and about for cp okay and now now that this is done so let us do git push so that a build the whole overall code pipeline is triggered git push so now the latest code is on code commit and it should soon take effect so it succeeded just now and the build is in progress and the whole process will once again repeat itself so i'll once again pause this recording and I'll resume it when the deployment is successful and then we will see if the trigger once again worked and we will see by bringing up the ALB what is the latest version here and then we can fire the APIs great so the pipeline has succeeded let us see if we have the success message we have the success message once again and let us refresh the ALB so this is the new version not bad not bad okay so let us test the API's they're working as well looks like we were too quick yeah we were okay so once again i'm not checking on dynamo db if you want to refresh the page and see please do that and if you want to experiment with the scripts or the data that you're sending feel free to do that as well that's completely up to you i'm just making sure that the concept is clear one more thing that we have not looked at in the previous lab session as well because we did that during sample node sample applications deployment 
Let us look at the artifact store. And this is the code pipeline. Okay. Now it creates a folder by the name of the code pipeline. This is the one that we had just used CP CRUD ASG ALV. And the source and build artifacts are there. Right. Two, because we have two builds on this to two for source artifact and two for build artifacts. Great. So I think we have pretty much covered everything that we intended to cover in this lab session. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Wonderful. So now that will be it for this lab session. And in the next lab session, we will do the deployment through code pipeline on Elastic Beanstalk. That's going to be tricky. But since we have covered our bases uh, during manual deployment, it's going to be easier, but we will discuss some of the concepts. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in that session.